CTV's Akshay Tannen has been following the story for us. So how is this different, dramatically different from any others? Good afternoon, Bev. Yes, the size is slightly different. It depends on how much you consume while the products are more or less the same. So let's take a closer look at what this really means. This team of researchers who published their report in Lancet Medical Journal, it requires a shift in what we put on our plates. Let's break this down for our viewers on what is that daily allowance really. Now, if you're a heavy meat eater, there is, of course, alarm bells ringing on that one. Uh, only seven grams of red meat, that's equivalent to about one meatball a day. 29 grams of poultry, that's about 1.5 nuggets. 28 grams of fish, that's only about one fourth medium fillet. 250 grams of dairy, that's about just one glass of milk, dairy, and about 500 grams of fruits and vegetables, so that's a large portion of your daily diet, which is about five full servings. Now, the diet has its share of daily restrictions, like we just told you, but what's important to note here is that it does not have starchy vegetables, such as potatoes. You should also cut back on eggs, but you can supplement that with beans, nuts, and lentils. A huge incentive is that if this diet was implemented worldwide, the farming industry would also produce less greenhouse gas emissions. The only way that we can meet things like the Paris Climate Agreement is a drastic reduction in what we eat. And we don't have a lot of wiggle room here. You know, if, if you shift it from about 100 grams per day to about 300 grams per day or per week, um, we overshoot the Paris Climate Targets. So the only way that we will meet Paris is if we cut our red meat and drastically change our diets. So according to our experts, the food industry is actually harmful to the environment, Bev, and to save the planet, this is good food for thought after all. So with this study and this new diet, I mean, the reach out is, is global, right? They want everybody, every country to adopt this. How, how did they think, what are the strategies in play? Well, there are multiple strategies. The good thing is uh, this report comes out, spells out the strategies for everybody. So the Lancet will be going out to several countries with what they have in their minds. The study spells them out, and they say that uh, these ideas are about convincing governments to prohibit land clearing. There would also be need to incentivize the farmers to shift food production toward a more diverse production of nutrition crops. Healthy food would need to be made more accessible to lower income groups with social protections. And finally, reducing food waste by improving plant harvesting and proper market access in low and middle income countries. Now, the Eat Lancet, like we said, is taking uh, this particular report to WHO and several governments around the world, hoping that they can be a beginning in the way we consume our food. And for in-depth analysis, you can always log on to our website. That's www.ctvnews.ca. For the moment, it's back to you, Beth Moore. Akshay, thank you. I appreciate this. Thank you.